<laughs> hey, what is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Play Arts Kai, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Hardy Daytona and Cloud Strife, from the first class edition of the game. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Stay tuned guys. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the packaging. So now the packaging is pretty simple, it's pretty much just a black box. So on the front we have the Final Fantasy VII and Play Arts Kai logos. Okay, so here's a look at the inside of the packaging and the accessories. So of course we have the Hardy Daytona itself, and we have the Cloud Strife figure with a couple of pairs of hands, and we have the display stand for the figure itself in the back. And down here we have the official Final Fantasy VII Lanyard, which came with the uh, the first class edition of the game as a pre-order exclusive, I believe. And of course we have the uh, Buster Sword and the instructions on how to assemble the figure. So that's a look at the packaging and the accessories. Okay, so first up, I just want to give you guys a quick look at my entire Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake and AC collection. So these are all the figures that I have. I think I pretty much have all the figures that have currently made. And um, I do have a video on every single figure here. So if you guys want to check it out, then it will be on the channel. And if you guys are wondering where the Daytona is, he's right up here, just on top of the D12 cabinets. So that's the Daytona, and uh, over here we have the Fenrir. Two amazing, amazing bikes. But anyhow guys, that's a look at my entire collection. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look the Hardy Daytona and Cloud Strife. Stay tuned guys. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at the details on the bike. So I think most of you guys probably already own the Daytona. But uh, for those of you guys who don't own the bike, I just thought you may enjoy this video. But anyhow, let's take a look at all these details. So here we have the front bumper. Which is, you know, such a cool design. I just love the design of this Daytona. I also love the Fenrir. I think they're, uh, you know, very different bikes, very different designs. But, um, you know, I just really love the Daytona. It's such a well made figure. But uh, anyhow, here's a look at the front. So we have like all these pipes, all the pistons sculpted in there. Very, very nice detail. I would say this is probably one of the best figures ever made by Play Arts Kai. As nice as the figure as it is, it still has problems. So um, I would say one of the main issues with this figure is the fact that the figure doesn't have a light. So um, the Fenrir had two LEDs at the front and the back. But the Hardy Daytona doesn't have any lights whatsoever. Which is a little bit of a shame, I just think they could have you know, easily added a light here at the front of the headlights and also possibly a light at the back. And here's the main body of the bike. There's also like a little piece here which is hidden, which uh, kind of flips up, so I'll give you guys a look at that a little bit later on. But here's a look at the handles, which I think are on a swivel joints. But anyhow, here we have uh, like the engine piece, all these mechanical details. It looks very, very cool, I mean, it's got a pretty nice paint job, nice sculpt, and it looks pretty realistic. And we have this little uh, holster for the feet. So uh, once you put the figure on the bike, there's a place to put his feet. Which, you know, just makes the figure a bit more sturdy on the bike. Which is a nice touch. And here we have the engine, like all these exhaust pipes. And the wheel here at the back. And here's a look at the other side of the bike. So it's pretty much the exact same. I uh, really don't see too many differences. It's a pretty symmetrical figure. But once again, we have the front bumper all these pipes and pistons and of course the wheels do move they're, uh, they're on like a like a swivel joint so they can kind of rotate and uh, once again we have the main body which gives off a very nice reflection in the lights and once again the engine piece it's also got a pretty nice paint job you know it's it's um it looks like it's been used like a little bit worn out and so here's the bike directly from the front I mean, it just looks super nice. It's such a badass bike. But anyhow, once again, we have the front bumper. 
in the main body of the bike with the headlights. Yeah, I just really wish that they added an LED in there. It would have made the bike so much better. But anyhow, there's a look at the top of the bike and the seat. And so here's the back of the bike with this tire piece of all these nice patterns on the tire. And the uh, exhaust pipes, the engine piece. Very, very cool. And the tail light here, which I really wish had like a red light. It just would have looked amazing. But anyhow, here's the main body of the bike from the back and the handles. And as I mentioned before, there's a tiny little compartment here, like a hidden joint, which you can kind of just flip up like so. And we can see some detail in here. Really don't know what it is. It looks to be like a gas meter, which is a pretty cool hidden feature. I don't think many people know about this. And of course, you can just flip it back down like so, and it just hides that joint. So yeah, that's a look at the bike. Very, very nice. And of course, we have the display stand here at the bottom of the bike, which is made out of metal. It's a very sturdy joint. It really helps to hold up the figure. And of course, we have the Klaus Strife figure, which I'm not gonna cover in detail because I've already reviewed this figure like countless times. It's pretty much the exact same figure uh, from 2017. Really nothing new here. Same details, same sculpts. Pretty much the same paint job. And here's a quick look at the figure from the back, in case you guys wanted to check it out. So of course we have this really amazing Buster Sword, which is pegged on to the, uh, to the back of the figure right here. And of course the back of the leg piece. So just a super quick comparison on both of these Cloud figures, just in case you guys wanted to check it out. So here's a look at the first release of Cloud Strife, which originally came out in 2017, but of course the first class edition came out in 2020. And this is the version 2 of Cloud Strife, which came out in uh, I think around 2020, 2021, which is a much much better figure. I mean, they are very similar figures in terms of the body, but as for the head sculpts, it's a different story. I mean, it's such a massive Massive difference on the version 2. So let's take a close up. So here's a look at the version 2. And as you can see, it's got a pretty amazing head sculpt. I mean, it's such a crisp and clean sculpt. And it does have a pretty nice resemblance to, uh, to Cloud Strife from the game. I mean, it's just such a nice sculpt. Very, very sharp. And here's a look at the uh, original Cloud Strife, which isn't so great. Doesn't have a, doesn't have a good likeness to uh, Cloud from the game. and. Um, you know, just a hair piece looks super flat. There's this hair piece, it's got layers, and you know, it's very spiky. And so just a quick look from the back. So as you can see, they look like very similar figures. I mean, you couldn't even tell that they're different figures. But um, you can see the Buster Sword on the version 2 is a much bigger blade. It's much thicker, and uh, it's also much longer as well. Whereas the original version, it's a pretty slim Buster Sword. Very thin. But uh, yeah, anyhow guys, that's a quick look on both of these Cloud Strifes. Okay, so here's a look at both of these bikes. So as you can see, we have the Fenrir, which came out in 2018. And here we have the Harley Daytona 2020. So as you can see, we have the Fenrir, with this really amazing headlights at the front. And of course we have the red tail lights at the back, which you know is such an amazing feature. It just makes the figure so much better. I just love this feature so much. I just really wish that the Harley Daytona had some type of light-up feature because, you know, I just really don't know why they didn't include this on this bike when they included this on the Fenrir. But um, anyhow, here's a look at both of the bikes. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, they're both very different design. I think the Fenrir is a lot more bulky, you know, it's a very heavily armored motorbike. It's almost like a tank, which is super, super cool. This was also like the first bike that I ever seen from Final Fantasy VII, from AC. So, you know, this has always been my favorite bike. And I just love the fact that we have like all these blades in the holster. It's just such a cool feature. I would say this is probably my all time favorite Final Fantasy VII bike, but I do love the Harley Daytona so much. So as for the color scheme, I mean, both bikes have a very different color scheme. As you can see, the Fenrir is painted black and almost gold it looks like it's almost rusted which is a you know a very cool color scheme whereas the Harley Daytona is very silver 
and black and kind of bronze here at the side. So yeah, very different colors on both of these bikes, which I do like. It just makes them both a little bit different. But um, anyhow guys, that's a look at both the Fenrir and the Harley Daytona. Hope you guys like this comparison. Okay, so here's a quick demo on the articulation for the bike. So as I mentioned before, I mean, the bike doesn't have a great deal of articulation. It's a very stationary bike. But then, um, yeah, for the most part, we have a swivel here at the wheel. So we can kind of rotate, as you can see. Um, we also have like these swivel joints at the handle piece, which is quite a nice range of motion to, you know, um, if you have the figure on the bike, you can kind of move this around to match the position of the hands. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I don't really think anything else moves here apart from the back of the tire piece, which um, these are actually on like different, like separate joints, as you can see. They can rotate individually, which is pretty cool. Uh, this here piece at the bottom, like the little uh, bike stand, is on a swivel joint, which is a really, really sturdy joint. It's made out of metal, as I mentioned before, so it's a very, very strong joint really helps to hold up the bike. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation for the bike. That's, um, you know, there's really not much, but uh, I guess that's pretty much all that we need. And just a very quick articulation demo on the figure. Once again, in case you guys want to check it out. So uh, let's take the Buster Sword off his back right here and let's take a look. So um, as for the head sculpts, we have a ball joint in there. There's also a ball joint at the base of the neck. We have these uh, ball hinge joints at the shoulders, swivels at the biceps, Ball hinge joints at the elbows and ball hinge joints at the wrists. This piece is also made out of like a soft piece of plastic, so we can kind of move. And we have a ball joint inside the torso piece and also a ball joint at the waist. And once again, this here belt piece is also made out of a softer piece of plastic. We have these ball ratchet joints at the hips. Swivel at the thigh, which is a very hidden joint, you can barely see it in there. Uh, we have a double hinge joint at the knee and we have ball hinge joints at the ankle and the hinge joints at the toe. So overall, pretty good articulation for the figure. Okay, and so last up, here's a look at the figure actually on the bike. So uh, yeah, here's Klaus Strife on the Harley Daytona. Very, very nice. I mean, it's a very sturdy fit and it does fit on the bike pretty well. Um, as I mentioned before, there's these tiny little holsters for the feet. So, you know, he stays on the bike pretty well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake Harley Daytona and Cloud Strife from the first class edition of the game. I mean, such an amazing bike. If you guys don't already own the Daytona, then I highly recommend you guys pick it up. I would also recommend picking up the Fenrir. It's such a nice bike, and I would say it's probably better than the Daytona. But I mean, they're both amazing bikes, and I think you will be happy with either one. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope it was helpful. As I mentioned before, I do have a review of every single figure here. So be sure to ring that bell notification so you guys don't miss out on all these videos. This is going to be my last review for 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys will look forward to a lot more reviews in 2022. Have a great day, take care, stay safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Alright, take it easy guys.